Have you ever had this problem with Hyper-V where you try and start up your machine and uh, it comes up as a mix match uh, with the differential uh, parenting disk? Sometimes you, the error message comes up as property max internal size does not exist in class and uh, you can't start your virtual machine. Now it, it, it looks like a major, major incident of panic, you can't start your virtual machine. Actually it's pretty easy to, uh, to fix it. Before I fix it I'll just explain why you would get this issue and I've deliberately created this to show you what, what it is. This is create, created by a bit of a mix match between a mismatch between the checkpoint and the uh, hard disk. So Hyper-V you can have your uh, virtual machine and you get these virtual machine drives with these uh, VHDX files which you can see here but you can also do checkpoints and sometimes it does it automatically for you you can have it set to automatically checkpoint or you can manually create them here you can see I've created like three checkpoints so every time you create one of these checkpoints or uh, you've got checkpoint enabled you as well as getting the VHDX file which is you get these AVHDX files so you can see these two for the example I'm looking at this is the parent effectively and this is the checkpoint so uh, after I finished setting up the machine I created a checkpoint and then that's now you right into this disk so it's a differential disk so this is the, the effectively the latest version and it, this is the changes between uh, the version I'm running now or the you know the, the the computer as it is now and that's the previous one so it may be you're going to do a backup um, or a major change so that you do a checkpoint and then you do everything working and you get you know so you create another checkpoint you can have multiple of these checkpoints and they can get out of sync because what I did to break this was I actually mounted this on the system so I could uh, browse it and as soon as I mounted this one which is the parent one it, it by mounting it's up, kind of updated it so this is now um, generating that error because it says hang on this isn't right we've got a mismatch between these two versions but there is a fix and all you need is a bit of PowerShell to do that so let me show you so here's the command we need to use set dash VHD uh -huh. and then we've got the path to the check file which is the differential file which is there and then the path back to the parent file so that's the original file now this may generate an error which is that one we've seen before when I was inspecting the disk because I manually mounted this file uh, through disk manager to, to break it effectively let's see if we can link those back to no we can't because of this error which same ones we saw when we inspected it but there is a fix for it if you know you've got to be careful that you're doing this and you know what you're doing with these files you can break your files completely of course you, the good thing about Hyper-V you can just copy these files somewhere else make a copy of them before you do the next step which so it's the same command again but you do ignore ID mismatch okay so that's uh, allowed that's not come back with an error so let's see now if we can start the virtual machine yes we're good to go so that command is the one that's going to save you. Like I said, you've got to be careful because um, you've got to know which. If you're, you're telling it to ignore the warnings, so you're not going to know what you're doing. But if you've been uh, open, browsing your VHD files, or uh, maybe you needed to to move files around and then they've kind of got broke, you can do that. And I've actually nested these before as well, so you can do an AVHDX back to another AVHDX back to the parent, so you can do them in separate steps as well. Uh, but that's worked anyway. I've had this a few times, uh, mostly caused by me, but when you get it, it's and if you've never seen it before, it's pretty daunting. But anyway, quick fix for that. So there's your, there's your fix. Set VHD. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching this video.